This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them in just a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we are looking at my Elegoo Centauri Carbon again. In my last video, I showed you guys how my uh, delivery went. I had the third batch and we talked about different changes, uh, if I had any issues, that kind of thing. Go ahead and check out that video if you are curious. But one of the things that I said on there is that I used the existing foam uh, from the packaging of the printer and I used that to stabilize it. So I put it underneath, put the printer on top, and uh, that helped reduce the vibration a lot. Now, a lot of you commented and helped me out there that I should not do that because essentially what I'm doing is I'm blocking airflow. There's vents underneath the printer um, and I am blocking the airflow with that. So we're looking at possible overheating, the boards will become damaged, different components will not work. So thank you again for uh, helping me out with that. So basically what I did is what Uncle Jesse did and I put a uh, foam piece, I left the foam piece on there, then I put a concrete slab and then a printer on top. And that really helped to stabilize it. So let me show you guys what I did. All right, so this is the setup that I initially had. So as you can see, I have the printer right on top of the foam piece. So again, this came directly from the uh, the shipment box because it's the perfect size. I thought, oh, that's that works out great. I'll just put it on top of it. But you can see here at this point, because it's been on there so long, it's just really squished it down and the vents underneath the printer are absolutely being smothered and uh, that's not good. So I went to Home Depot and I bought this concrete slab and we are going to put it right on top of this and then the printer. So this was only about five bucks at Home Depot. So super affordable. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to do that now. Okay, so uh, first I gotta disconnect everything and that's something I forgot to do prior to pressing record. So I am going to unhook my LED lights and just set it off to the side here. Uh, I should probably take off this glass cover. If you guys haven't printed out this uh, this cover holder and tool holder, uh, definitely do so. I'll put the link in the description. It's, uh, it's come in very handy. You can also put uh, build plates on it, which is really cool. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just move it out of the way and hopefully not break it because it is a bit heavy. So let's go ahead and move this now, just like this. And very carefully. All right, while I move this out of the way and get the uh, slab prepped, uh, a word from our sponsors. I want to take a second and thank our sponsors, PCBWay. If you don't know who PCBWay is, well, let me tell you, they are your one-stop shop for manufacturing services. They are best known for their custom PCB boards, but they also do CNC machining and 3D printing in an array of different materials, among other services. But let me show you guys how to order something from them. All right, so let me show you what the website looks like. It looks like this. This front part is to do PCB board quotes, but let me show you what the 3D printing looks like. You go over here, you click on 3D printing, you drop your file right there, uh, units of measurement, and then what material you wanna use. They have so many, PLA, nylon, uh, steel, uh, and then you tell them, uh, in this case, resin, what color, and then they have a lot of different other options so you can customize exactly what you want for your file. After that, you submit the file, they review it. If there's any problems, they'll reach out. If not, they'll get right to manufacturing. And that's pretty much it. Super simple, great way to get these services. Super easy to do, highly recommend their services. Affiliate link in the description. Make sure to check them out. All right, so let me show you what the uh, foam looks like. So this was actually a lot thicker when I got it and it did not have the indent inside. Um, I thought about using the other side, but so uh, you can see where the legs pretty much just sunk in, which means that the vents are again being squished into the vent, not allowing airflow to go through. I think maybe in the very beginning it was able to stand on top of the foam, 
But uh, this is just really soft foam, so it was uh, bound to happen where it would just kind of start sinking into it. So I'm contemplating putting it upside down, but I think I'm just going to put it the way it was, just like this, because the edges are raised up higher. Then we are going to put this slab right on top, even though it has little etchings on it. I did make sure that each corner was flat and did not have any ridges on it so it that uh, the printer would sit on it perfectly. So now we just got to align it to the table and now we're going to put the printer on top. Now because the size is so perfect the the concrete slab is a 15 by 15 uh, with change I guess. And uh, so it's like the perfect size for the printer and the table because the table uh, is a little bit bigger than that. But anyway, because it's so close to size to the printer and so perfect, you really got to make sure that you got the legs on as uh, as well as possible because each corner, you don't want one to be too far because it might, you know, come down or anything like that be off balance so you just want to make sure that you have it as straight as you can okay now that we've done that let me show you what it looks like below there we go that's what we want to see we want to see that gap right there and I could even see kind of the vents over there I'll show you a different angle in just a second uh, but it's looking really good this should be solid um, so let's go ahead and take a look at another angle. Let's look over here. So yeah, pretty simple thing to do. Uh, definitely recommend you do this if you're looking to stabilize your Centauri Carbon. And that's gonna be it. Uh, just a really short video today, but again, thank you guys for commenting and helping me out with that. I just had to make the correction video just so you guys could see because I don't want to put any uh, incorrect uh, information out there or advice. So thank you again. That really helped. But uh, let me know what you guys are doing to stabilize your printers and... Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time.